It's time for the Matt LeCroy Show on Fox Sports 1460. Brought to you by the Holiday Inn Middletown. Now with today's show, here's Terry Byram. Well, Matt, yesterday you culminated an eight-game road trip with an 8-2 to two loss. And you know, just one of those days when you play 142 games like you guys play, you're going to have days where things just don't go right. And before that, you had five really good days. Yeah, I thought uh, the start of the um, second half, I, it, it didn't start out too well. Uh, but the boys uh, uh, got some big wins out in Altoona, and then we carried on first two wins out in, out in Erie. And then uh, yesterday we – we battled to take the lead, but uh, we didn't shut down at one inning, and I kind of the momentum shifted. Uh, but very proud of them how they come out and uh, overcome some little adversity at the beginning of that trip, and ended up having a good solid trip, and you know get back here for a home stand. Hopefully, we'll have a good home stand. Well, you've talked about for a long time now, not really looking at the standings, but winning series, winning two out of three, or three out of four in this case. And really, at the end of the day, if baseball teams do that a lot more than they don't, they're going to be in good shape at the end of the year. Oh, no doubt about it. I mean, we stressed that from the beginning, not to get caught up in where we are at the moment, but uh, to go out and try to win every series. And if we do that, uh, I really believe we'd put ourselves in a situation to be playing for something in, uh, in, in August. And, uh, you know, hopefully the guys are starting to buy into what we're trying to do, and I think they are. Uh, they're picking each other up. They're playing hard, preparing every day, and now we're in a good spot. So since we've last been home before the All-Star break, Abel de los Santos was claimed on waivers by the uh, Cincinnati Reds. Uh, uh, Nick Lee yesterday was uh, designated for assignment, which means he's not available for quite a while. And if he gets picked up, he'll be gone too. So your team, your team has gone through some changes, especially on the pitching side of things, all together over the last six or eight weeks. Yeah, I mean, we sent some guys up to AAA to the big leagues, which is always really, really exciting for us. And then, you know, obviously we lost uh, a bell to the Cincinnati Reds, which, you know, it's a good thing for him, bad thing for us. And then Nick Lee got designated. So, uh, you know, we've gone through some changes, but uh, I think the guys are – uh, down in that bullpen are going to get more innings because of it and have to pick up that, that workload of it. And I'm sure we'll make more changes down the, down the stretch here. But uh, the guys have seemed to respond to all the changes that we've made so far. And, you know, guys are stepping up into different roles, and hopefully they'll continue to do well and stay healthy. So once upon a time this season, we would talk before the games and maybe you're six or seven games under 500, 10 games out of first place, eight games out of first place. And today we start. Play tonight, and the Harrisburg Senators are tied with Akron and Altoona for first place with, uh, I think, 47 games to go. Well, I'm just proud of the guys. They've, they've bought into what we've been trying to uh, preach all season is, is uh, going out and preparing every night to win, and, and they're starting to learn how to, to play together as a group. They've been playing very good, solid baseball, which I, I love that uh, uh, when they're starting to learn how to, to play the game the right way. Uh, things are coming together pretty good. Hopefully we'll stay healthy. I mean, that's the biggest key. And we're going to go through a tough stretch here with the weather, so we're going to make sure we, we watch that part of it and hopefully have a, a good home stand and, and, and go on the road and, and, and stay in this thing. And then lastly, Phillips Valdez makes the start tonight. He starts uh, the first of four games against Richmond. And, uh, you know, he's he's been up and down. He's looked phenomenal for a few outs and not looked so good. And he has more or less really struggled to find the strike zone so far. I know you guys have worked with him a lot. Yeah, I mean, I thought uh, his last bullpen session with Chris, uh, watching it, he was – they tweaked some things, and I thought that uh, made him a lot better. Uh, hopefully he can carry that into the game and – Give us a good quality start. Give us a chance to win. His stuff is electric when it's over the plate and uh, and down. And, and his adjustments he made in the bullpen. Hopefully he he can carry it over because uh, if he does that, I mean he can he can control the ball game. 